Uh, what are your thoughts on the issue of illegal naked short selling? Well, as you know, I, you may know I have a friend that's been fairly outspoken on that. And we, from our standpoint, we have no objection to anybody selling Berkshire short at all. Uh, the, uh, the more shorts, the better, because they have to buy the stock later on. And some of our shareholders may make some money lending. We can't, Charlie and I can't do it, but, but there's nothing I would love better if it were legal than to lend my stock to shorts and have them pay me something for doing it. Uh, uh, I might want to get prepaid in certain cases. The, uh, there's nothing evil per se about, in my view, about selling things short. Um, I would say that it's a very, very tough way to make a living. It's not only often painful financially, it's very painful uh, emotionally because it, a stock that you sell short, a stock that you buy at 20 can go down 20 points and a stock that you sell short at 20 can go up an infinite amount and you don't think about that until you've gone short and it goes up about 10 or 15 points and then you don't sleep very well. So it's a, it's a very tough way to make a living. There are people on the short side that have done and that do things to try to make stocks go down, some of which are appropriate and some of which are inappropriate. There are people on the long side that have done the same exact, have the same sort of things go on. So I don't see any, I, I have no, uh, no ax to grind in the least against, against short sellers. And in terms of what they call naked shorting, which you, which means that you you don't have the stock lined up to be borrowed, and maybe you have a whole bunch of fails to deliver and that sort of thing. Um, I don't have I, I don't I don't have a great a, a great problem with that. If anybody wants to do that with Berkshire, you know they they uh, more power to them. Uh, short sellers. The, the, the situations in which there have been huge short interests very often, uh, very often have been later revealed to be uh, frauds or semi-frauds. Now, the, the one my friend runs is not at all, but the, the batting average, I mean, I've, over the years, I probably had a hundred ideas of things that should be shorted, and I would say that Almost every one of them have turned out to be correct, and I'll bet if I'd tried to do it and make money out of it, I probably would have lost money. I would have had no fun, and the opportunity cost, as Charlie said, would have been enormous because if somebody's running something that's semi-fraudulent, they're probably pretty good at it, and they're working full-time at it, and uh, they've succeeded for a while, and they may keep succeeding, and if they succeed and you go in at X and it goes to 5X, you know, all you're hoping after a while is that it goes back to X again or something of the sort. It's a, it's a very tough psychological uh, game to play. A few people may be well suited for it. Uh, I would never put any money with a short fund, but not because I would think it would be ethically wrong. I just think that they're unlikely to make money. Um, Charlie, do you have any thoughts on short selling or naked short selling? Well, I think you're absolutely right. There, in the sense that it's, that would be one of the most ir irritating experiences in the world, to figure out something is crooked and foolish and so forth, and then short it at X and have it go to 3X. Now you're watching all these happy crooks splashing around in your money while you're meeting margin calls. <laughs> it's, why would you want to go on hailing distance of an experience like that? Well, we've hit.